Welcome back, folks, one and all, to the defense of planet Earth. It's been a long time. A long, long time indeed. But let's have a proper stab at it this time. Let's play... UFO Enemy Unknown, or XCOM UFO Defense. Properly this time. With more than one base, proper use of tactics, and hopefully trying to avoid hiring people of extremely low bravery. At least not at the start, after the start. This time we're playing the version on Steam. Has better music and all that jazz. And slightly better speed issues. As you can see, I've not altered the speed at all, and it's working just fine. Let's go into a new game. I will play it on Veteran. Because, why not? Now, if people haven't seen XCOM before, I'll try and explain it as best I can. Aliens have appeared on planet Earth, and various governmental threat, government attempts around the world to stop the aliens, including a, a hopeful looking one for Japan, haven't even downed a single UFO. The governments of the world have combined to form XCOM to fight against the alien threat and attempt to defeat them. We must maintain good relations with these peop with these funding nations or they will withdraw their funding. And we also must maintain a positive standing with them. Fail badly twice in a two months in a row and XCOM will be disbanded and they'll all go back to their own unique efforts. And considering how well that went last time you could pretty much gather that if we screw up, the world is doomed. Now, last time, my base was in Antarctica. Probably right there. This time, I'm not going to make that error, because we're playing it properly, and I'm going to put my base where I normally put it. Where do I normally? Normally put it here in the Alps. But we shall name this base as we did before Ultimac Tyrian. Naming the base immediately gets me into the game itself. And the first thing we should do is look at our base. This is the base. We have a funding of 4.1 million credits. And already I can tell you, there are some major flaws with this base we need to address right now. The first major flaw is, enemies tend to appear in the elevator and the hangar when they invade our base, and right now we have hangars everywhere. This has to change. And the way we're going to change this is we're going to build facilities. We're going to build another hangar, and we're going to put it here. We're going to build another hangar, and we're going to put that there. We're then going to build a large radar... Um, we're also going to build a living quarters here. And we're also going to build a living quarters... Also, sorry, we're also going to build a large radar system here. Basically to replace the small radar system, which is a bit rubbish. We're also going to build an alien containment to store our aliens here. And we're also going to build a... Do we have a workshop? We do. Do we have a laboratory? We do. We're also going to build another living quarters here. That's a lot of money gone down the drain, you may think. And you're probably right, it is down the drain. <laughs> but after a month of game time, we will then be able to destroy that destroy that and destroy that and then there'll only be one direction that aliens can come from which will be this choke point in the access lift aliens won't be able to access our except for the fact that I built a living quarters here we get it living quarters aren't expensive we'll build more living quarters later for the time being we also need to look at our craft 
here's our Sky Ranger. And it has various crew members that we will rename. And has various equipment. Most of which we aren't actually going to use at this point. We'll have grenades, though. We don't want that heavy cannon. And we don't really want pistols at this point either. They're not that useful. We want as many rifles as we possibly can and as much ammunition for them as we can. Smoke grenades are also... No, smoke grenades are rubbish at this point. What we want to do is you want to purchase some more soldiers. And some more scientists. Ten more will do. We also want to purchase a lot more rifles. And a fair few more rifle clips. And we also want to purchase some stun rods. Stun rods so we can take out robo um, the creatures without them uh, causing any significant trouble to us. Where are the stun rods? There they are. You got lots of these. Twenty will be fine. Can we have some more scientists? Yeah. We only have four hundred and sixteen thousand. But this is going to pay off later. We have research facilities. And there are only three things we can research right now. Laser weapons, motion scanners, and med kits. I always start with laser weaponry. Mainly because laser weapons do not need to be recharged. Now let's look at our soldiers. High bravery is important. Who is the highest bravery character? Fran. You, sir, have pretty decent stats apart from your health. You are going to be Sub-Zero. In typical fashion to my uh, Let's Plays, in the last one I named people after original members from different games and characters that I've played as. Who has the lowest bravery? Ah, you'll do. John Pierce, you're going to be Drake. Because Drake was always a favourite. And Franz Zander, you shall be. We have a few new people. Let's have Utah. And let's have an old favorite. Loopy McGoopin. And who else is always in the first team? Why, well, that would be Awesome Possum. Andrea Day? Nah. Love Xanthia. If it turns out you're not a man, or not a woman, we can sort that. Bernard will be... Hmm... Paulson. I'm intending to keep as many of these alive as I can. However, sometimes it's a bit difficult to uh, keep people alive for so long. I am going to play properly this time, there are going to be proper tactics and everything, so we won't have to worry about that. For now, we can do nothing but wait for aliens to appear. There's one! It's a very small one, which means there'll only be one trooper in it. One alien. So we want to track it down with our... interceptor, and we've got to it. Going to this means you can see it, it's very small, it's probably going to try and run the heck away. Or it will crash land. And it crash landed in the water. Well, we get points for shooting it down. If that's all we get. Points for shooting it down. And there come our, tr there come our rifles. And our stun rods. Basically, we want to equip this craft with as many of them as we can. We want to have three reloads for everyone. We want a grenade for everyone, and we want a stun rod for everyone. And we already have very little money. At the end of the month, there will be a terror mission. We have to be ready for this. We also desperately need something to happen. An alien, anything. Please. Or we could get our new troops and our scientists. 
At this moment, the scientists all should focus on one thing. With 30 scientists, it becomes excellent. Our research will be vastly improved, and we have two more soldiers. Whoa, that's a brave soldier. They're both good. They're both very good. We actually want brave soldiers. Ah, need someone. Winkle. Good old Winkle. And... Uta Silda. Sounds like a woman. Probably isn't. Hmm. I'm trying to think of a name. Name is always the difficult part. How about... Hmm. Dawn. There we go. We shall equip them to the Sky Ranger. So that they are ready for combat. We have four more spaces in the Sky Ranger. We can have 14 troops. We'll want 14 troops, but we can't have them yet. We don't have enough living quarters. Research complete. We can now research laser pistols. Pretty important that we start researching them immediately. Because we want the laser pistol. We also want something to happen, please. A UFO would be fantastic. Please. Oh, no, we've researched laser pistols. We can now research laser rifles. Good idea. Okay, before we do anything, oh no, 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 not that. We need to sell some stuff we're not going to use. We're not going to use pistols, we're not going to use the pistol clips, we're not going to use the heavy cannon, not at this moment, it's a bit useless. We're not going to use the auto cannon either, or the rocket launcher. We will use grenades, we will use stun rods. 36,000. Not bad. Mainly we need that so we can manufacture laser pistols. The 8,000 a pop. And we need 10 of them. 80,000, and it will take 12 days to manufacture them. The more of them we have, the better. The faster we can get them, the better as well. Time is going quite slowly. And nothing's happening. Come on. Not ending this video until we counter some aliens we can fight. We're not going to get any aliens we can fight, are we? Come on. No, no we aren't. Now before we research the heavy laser, a med kit is a good thing to research. We could allocate research, ma manufacturing to laser rifles. Not yet, we need our laser pistols first. I'm not doing my first true mission as an alien... Okay, there's a small UFO here. We can take that out catch up to it, which we can because it's coming our way. It's fantastic. Hey guys! Have some missile! Aggressively get close because our missiles have ridiculously short range and we're missing. UFO is returning fire and it's outrunning us. We can catch up with it though. I hope. Oh, we can't get it. Let's intercept it with you with uh, intercept two. Perhaps we can uh, cleverly outsmart it. Oh wait, it's landed! It's landed. Okay, that's a good thing. You go back to base. Now we need to equip our craft with those alien, with those light, with those um, laser pistols. We have five of them. 
which means we require five less laser uh, rifles and five less of them. Yeah, that's right. We're going in. We're going to intercept this bugger. But before we do, we're going to save. Because I want to do this properly. So let's go in. At the beginning, there tends to be casualties. There always tends to be casualties. We're fighting in the day. It's good. Also, if you attack them when they're landed, it's harder for them to detect where you are. So this is our team. We give them all a stun rod each. Stun rods they can use to incapacitate aliens without killing them. We don't have an alien containment facility yet, so any aliens we did capture will just die. Sub-Zero has high bravery. Utah and Winkle and Dawn, they also have high bravery. So they're the right people to have equipped the laser pistols. And yes, I won't be foregoing armor to the people who aren't um, who aren't veterans or whatever. I will give armor to everyone as soon as I get it. So this is our team. We're in a corner. That's good. Awesome Possum is usually the first one out and the first one to die. So let's hope that changes. Would you believe it? He is the first one out, and he's not the first one to die. So we're going to crouch, and we're going to assess the area around us first, before we go anywhere. The fact that they are outside means they could be anywhere. When they crash landed, they tend to be near the UFO. Save enough for a snapshot, shall we? See, it will tell me now. It has units times reserved for a snapshot. Basically means if he sees someone and you can take a snapshot, he will. Let's uh, let the enemy have their go. And disconcertingly, no one has done anything. Well... That actually makes me a bit concerned. You stay there, and we'll get um, Xanthia as well. You're going to travel as a team. I don't want anyone not traveling as a team, and I want everyone to have a snapshot on standby. On having anyone not having a snapshot, I want someone to at least be able to take a poking shot at an enemy if they arrive. Who's this? Elmo is the last one that has a rifle. Get him out. Nope, he doesn't have enough time to do anything else. There's the UFO. It's probably a good idea to make our way towards its slow. Alright, doors are opening. Aliens aren't smart enough to close doors. We'll put this in mind, shall we? Always keep it in mind, aliens are not smart enough to close doors. Their doors automatically seal. And we see one. It's one of them. We don't quite know what it is yet. He has 26 turn units. He could fire an aim shot, which is 45%. No, he can't fire one of them. He could fire a snapshot or an auto shot. Auto shot is probably the best chance he's got. Yes, it's 10% less likely to hit, but he is going to fire three of them. As opposed to one, or... Yeah, he could actually... Hmm, that is true. Two at... Yeah, two at 24, or three at... Seven. Actually, when you put it like that, it's probably better he takes a snapshot. That is an unconscious alien, because we didn't hear the sound of him dying. Small vessels can have anything between four and six aliens in it. Let's all slowly start moving out. Let's get the rest of the team out now. Drake always never had much uh, 
never had much courage, so who knows how long he's going to last. The, the bulk of people are going to have to head towards the, uh, the UFO. Sub-Zero is going to join them. Sub-Zero was the de facto commander last time. Don't know if it's going to remain the same this time. He might not. Not going to be as lenient with him this time. And yes, you'll find this video is quite long. Just to prove that I can, in fact, do long videos. Third turn of the aliens. Oh, somebody shot at us. We don't know where from. We couldn't see. Probably from that building. Let's proceed with caution. Hmm. Can't see anyone. Trees provide actual cover. Crouching also makes you slightly less likely to be hit and increases your accuracy. The Barry clones will come soon, folks. You don't need to worry about the Barry clones. There will always be Barrys. The laser pistols are good because they don't require any ammunition. <laughs> Always a decent thing to have on your person. Splitting the team in two at this point is probably the best thing I could be doing. And I really don't know how long this video is. I will stop it now, however, though, purely because we're up to 20 minutes. And I don't know how long uh, Hypercam will work before it um, starts screwing up my sinking. So we'll be right back.